This isn't uh, just our work, it's your work in progress. You see, we're going to keep adding to this pile, and we're going to keep calling on President Obama and Democrats in the Senate to give these jobs bills a vote. That uh, is a new video from House Speaker John Boehner uh, in which he appears there alongside some of the 30 bills aimed at economic recovery passed by the Republican-controlled House uh, as Boehner tries to bracket back against President Obama, who has been engaged in a lengthy, lengthy assault on the Republican House, blaming them for the droopy economy. And this is power play. Welcome back. Now, the question is, why would anybody want to get into that mess? Uh, Congress has about a Oh, uh, 8% approval rating in some polls. It's direly unpopular. Uh, people do not like Congress and Boehner. Uh, they're exemplifying the locked struggle in which Washington finds itself today. So who wants to get into this mess? Uh, John Brunner wants to get into this mess for some reason. He is uh, a, a Republican candidate for Senate in the Show Me State, the great state of mm -hmm. Missouri. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he is a businessman. Uh, you are a pol relative political novice, is this so? Yes, first time I've ever run for uh, uh, public office. Uh, kind of the mode of uh, uh, Senator Ron Johnson. Ah. He was in manufacturing, hadn't run before, and uh, figured we got to get up here and make some changes. So we met before uh, Internet, Sarah Steelman. Uh, she is one of the other Republicans uh, running to do this in Missouri's upcoming primary. Uh, looking forward to doing battle with Claire McCaskill, who is arguably the GOP's top target in the country. They would really like to take out Claire McCaskill, would like to keep Missouri bright red uh, uh, in the fall. Uh, so uh, in, in short, why you? Well, you know, we, we all understand the problems that we're facing in the country and uh, the disastrous programs we're on. Claire McCaskill is a, is a nice person, but she's driving down the wrong road, the road to Athens. And we all know where she's headed. And he, he doesn't mean Ohio. Right? No, no. <laughs> Athens, Greece. And, and, and well-meaning people taking us in the wrong direction is not what we need. We need people in Washington, D.C. who have actually met a payroll, created jobs, did budgets. I've done this for over 33 years in a small uh, manufacturing company. We took it from 40 people to 1,400. What do you guys make? What do you do? We, we make private label personal care products, store brand. So oh, okay. Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Kroger, all those kind okay. of companies. Uh, shampoo, mouthwash. So we're offering a value proposition. And we understand free enterprise. We understand what it takes to get your products on the shelf and keep them there. And I've traveled all over the United States. I've had a, uh, incredible opportunities from the days I drove the forklifts and worked on the production lines to the time I'm making the, the sales calls and presentations. You learn to do everything that you need to do to get the job done. We need more get-her-done kind of people in Washington, D.C. Okay, so uh, what we engage in here, as the Internet knows, is crass politics. How's the race shaping up? It is a incredible uh, a trajectory that we're on. I always like trends. I like okay. the trends in business. The trend is your friend. The trend is my friend. Is exactly <laughs> right. Uh, I, let me know. It's interesting. I started with a a 3% name ID, plus or minus four, po four points, which, you know, I could have been right. dead. You, you know? could have been under. <laughs> under you owed. Under. Now, <laughs> we have now pushed eight points ahead of my uh, Republican primary opponents. It's a, long, uh, it's a long, steady growth that's heading up the, the right direction. It's a positive message. It's somebody who is not a career politician. Uh, you know, in the Marine Corps, we had a saying, lead, follow, or get, get out, out of the way. way. Yeah, that's exactly right. I served as an infantry platoon commander, an executive officer, four years in the Marine Corps, North Atlantic, Mediterranean. We're always challenged to get the job done. Hey, President Obama's not leading. Claire McCaskill's failed to follow the, the will of the people of Missouri. It's time for both of them to get out of the way. We need people who know how to get things done and have that mindset and passion to get it done. Now, uh, how much time do you have left till your primary? Well, it's coming up real, real cl uh, close here, August the 7th. We're moving full steam ahead. And um, we got a lot of work to do, but, you know, we still have time on the clock. And right now it's looking very, very good. I want to hit that primary, bust right through with, with my focus on Claire McCaskill, keep that same message of growth and jobs. Problem with Claire McCaskill, you know, she has been anti American energy attacking mm. the coal industry. But you know, it's politics now, so she's now coming back. She has been one of the big promote, promoters of regulation, red tape regulation. Now she wants to say she's going to pull it back. You know, taxes, 
my word, the highest in the country. And after the end of the year, we're going to find everybody being hit with taxes or the impact of those taxes. Wait, Missouri has the highest taxes? Well, well no, in the U.S. The oh, U.S. Okay. Tax oh, rate. in the world. In, right. the, in the world, right. Taxes are high on yeah, business. Yeah, and people right. are not going to invest in American businesses with the highest tax rate. And, and all these tax issues that are going to come due here at the end of the year, it's going to affect everybody and the cost of goods and services. We need advocates. Where has Claire McCaskill been on the Senate floor demanding to Harry Reid, we got to get things done? No, she's... I think they're all on that same bus going down that same wrong road. Well-meaning from their perspective, but we know where it's heading. we got to stop it and turn it around. Well, good luck, and we thank you very much. Have fun out there. And by the way, I should tell you, we went to the same high school, different classes, <laughs> uh, but we went to the same high school out in St. Louis when uh, uh, Power Play's mom and dad uh, moved out there for a job, and I'd lived in St. Louis for a few years. So uh, a pleasure to meet another Whitfieldian. Well, it's good to good to be with you. <laughs> uh, tell the folks out there, www.johnbruner.com. Looking forward to a good race and looking forward to getting to Washington, D.C. He may be a new politician but he knows how to plug. Okay, John, we thank you very much. Have a great day. Uh, uh, when we come back, uh, we'll be joined by one of your very favorites. Uh, Dan Henninger is with us uh, in New York to talk about his column today about Athens, Greece, and about the Europeans, and about how that all works out. He's so doggone smart, you're going to want to stick around.